Adding events to your calendar is as easy as clicking and typing. I have two calendars turned on right now, my third grade calendar and my planning calendar. And if I wanted to add an event, I just select the date I want to add the event and start typing. You can see right under the event, there is an option for me to select which calendar this event will be assigned to. So if I want it to be on my team calendar, I simply need to pick my team planning calendar from this list of choices. If I simply create event here, you'll see that that event is added to my calendar. If I want to go in and edit some details, maybe at a specific time, I just need to select the event and go into edit event. From this window, I can adjust the time. So if it's not an all day meeting, I can change it to a specific start time and a specific end time. And if it's a recurring event, if this happens every week, I can choose the repeat function and it brings up my options to make it recur. So if we meet every Wednesday at this time, I can set up a weekly meeting on Wednesdays or if it's Wednesdays and Fridays, and I can decide when it ends or simply have it never end and it will just always appear on my calendar until I delete it. When I'm finished, I just click done. Now your calendar events default to the color of the calendar they've been assigned to, but you can add a different color down here to events if you really want to add some special emphasis. I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes and you'll now see that team meeting is showing at a specific time and it is recurring every Wednesday and Friday. And of course, Google has some shortcuts built in to make creating calendar events even faster. So if you use the in and at features in your phrasing, Google will automatically assign times and places. Let's look at an example. If I want to add a conflict managers meeting to my third grade calendar, I can simply type at to indicate the time and use the word in to denote a room location. So when I create this event, you can see that the time has already been assigned. And if I click on this event for more details, E3 has been assigned as the where. Now this event did default to my Jeffco calendar, which is the wrong calendar. I want this on my third grade calendar, so I just go in and edit an event. I can see the calendar it's assigned to, and I can quickly adjust it to the correct calendar. Now if that meeting were to change from Monday to really being Tuesday, all I need to do is drag and drop the event to a different location on the calendar. And if my Friday team meeting for the 17th got canceled, I can just delete one of these events just by clicking on the event and clicking the delete button. Google's gonna ask me if I want to delete only that instance or all of the events in that series, and I really only wanna delete just that one meeting. So you can see how easy it is to add, edit, and delete your events. Take a few minutes right now to add some events to your calendar. Try assigning them to different calendars and try rearranging the dates and even delete a few events just so you can get comfortable with adding and editing events on your calendar.